Hello everyone, welcome back to an another video in the Langchain Projects playlist. In this video, we are going to see how to build a healthcare chatbot which will provide you home remedies for general health symptoms like cough, cold, fever, etc. that will run in your own CPU that too with all open source components. So without wasting time, let's jump right into the video now. So here is the result which we will be getting at the end of the project. So there is a minor difference from the last bot where we created an edu bot which can help with your education and with your learning process and all. Like I said, this video is about creating a healthcare chatbot which can help you with your uh, general problems by providing some home remedy. Okay. And you might think, uh, Vasan, is that the only thing which can be done with uh this made bot no if you want you can add some other context and all like you know see here i've given home remedy but if you have some pdf for uh, other kind of uh, data like you know for example if you are having data for how to cure cancer also then also you can load that but be cautious while you're loading okay uh, because home remedy is not uh that like you know harmful or side effect it's not going to be there so it is good to have a bot with home remedy right so yeah that is what has been prepared here but coming on to the main difference from the last video where uh, in the previous project what we done was we were creating a vector store by using a separate file right vector db.py then we moved on to create the bot but here what happens is everything happens inside the streamlit application itself so previously we had three application three files actually vector db edubot as well as app.py so here there is nothing like that there is only one file known as app.py and uh, the ui looks better than previous right that for that there is uh, another file called ui.py but the whole logic comes under a single file known as app.py so coming on to the logic here first what you need to do is you need to upload your pdfs here so here it shows browse files right you can click that and it will show you what are the files you need to load and then you can load the files it need not be only one pdf you can also load multiple pdf it will work here all right so you can put how many ever pdfs you want based on your computation power obviously then once that is done click process this is the first step guys don't do anything here until then so here if you click process after uh, completion of vector store creation a message will pop up stating that a vector store creation is completed okay so once that is done your question column will open up here until then only the chat with medbot and its description your home remedy doctor only will be there the placeholder for question won't be there so once this uh, vector store creation is completed your question placeholder will pop up you can give your question and uh, click the answer button and the model will give some response so here we will see what is the result we are going to get so here you see we are giving hey there and the bot is responding i'm ready to help you and i'm asking can you please tell me a home remedy for cough and it is saying like you know basil leaf and ginger can be taken for dry cough and if you are taking it with hot water it is very effective for cough relief which is very true right so yeah uh, we can say that the bot is working now we know what we are going to get at the end of this video so next the step is to move on with the workflow so like i said uh, this is the workflow file which i created even in the previous video okay so as you can see it is separate right but consider that all of these will happen in a single file okay so that is what will happen and guys I, i'm not going to explain this workflow now because uh, I've explained in detail about this in the previous video of EduBot. So if you haven't checked it, please check it out. I'll give it in the description. Okay. So now let's move on with the coding part. Okay. I hope the code is visible. So this is the bot's code. So here if you see we have a PDF reader, character text splitter, hugging face embeddings, retrieval QA, bot template, user template. This might be new for you. C transformers, prompt template. Actually, if you see all are not new for you uh, maybe this ui part alone might be new for you but other than that everything we have discussed in the previous video itself okay so what let's all do is we'll go with the main function right now so that it will be easy for the flow okay so let's start here like if you see uh, it is giving a page title like you know chat with a personal doctor medbot for personal remedies i have uh, just 
changed it okay so yeah like you know you can keep whatever you want and for that heart icon it will give so where this uh, page config what happens is like you know uh, when you open tab there will be a uh, streamlit app it will be usually written right in place of that it will come as chat with personal doctor person medbot for personal remedies okay so that is what is about base hit page config and uh, st dot write css what happens is it will just load the css file okay so where is the css let me give give me a minute so here if you see css is there okay so don't worry about the loading part i'll show you about that in a minute okay so that is uh, fine don't worry about that so next coming on to yeah next coming on to this uh, like if you see uh, like i said previously we are creating a session state so that we can store the messages in a session uh, you might know now that a conversation from start till end is a session so if there is no conversation from assistant i'm just saying i'm ready to help you as well as from user i'm saying hey there so by default it will be there and then i have created chat with medbot your home remedy doctor you would have seen that right now right title and header flag equal to vectorized pdf this is the first function don't worry about the flag i'll say what it is okay so let's go to vectorized pdf here where what happens is uh, even uh, let me open the result page here so that it will be easy for comparison okay so here if you see st.sidebar.subheader your documents so it is coming your documents right so basically this is known as sidebar and uh, if you if you load any component with st.sidebar dot the component see usually we write st dot write right for writing some context if you write it as st.sidebar dot write what it will do is it will write it in the sidebar that's what uh, will happen when you add sidebar so here if you see we are giving a subheader known as your documents and then there is a file uploader in which the important thing is we have given accept multiple files is equal to true which will allow you to load multiple pdfs okay so once that is done if you click the process button here like it said so what happens is first function is get pdf text what it will do see uh, for pdf in pdf docs why it is there because if you see we will have multiple pdfs right so it will go one by one and the pdf reader will take the pdf obviously and it will extract the text from the pdf and it will be added with this text so if you have multiple files what it will do is it will add again and again so if you are even having 10 pdfs it will be converted into single text that is what happens in get pdf text okay so now that is done so once that is done you will have your pdf text next is chunking so in the previous video also we saw right chunking um, you will be taking some character 500 characters here and uh, it will be 1 to 500 and to not lose content we are taking from 300 to 800 for the second chunk and it will go till n so yeah guys again i'm saying so i'm just go walking through the code here and because a lot of concepts i have discussed in the previous video of edubot so if you haven't checked it out please check it out okay next we are having get vector store so let's go there uh, as you might know now we are having the chunks here so in this get vector store also we are providing the chunks from this function get text chunks okay so now what we are doing is we are taking the chunks and the model name is gt large so yeah like you know uh, we are uh, we all know right how to take this gt large because uh, even in the previous video i have shown you how to choose your model it is very important guys uh, don't choose your model uh, based on uh, like you know people are choosing i'm also going to choose see the benchmark so for this one we have chosen mtb leaderboard which is for embeddings in that uh, this is one of the top five models okay and we are loading it in cpus so based on that what we are doing is uh, based on the text we have in the chunks we are creating a phase vector store and we are storing it in local with the location phase slash medical okay so once this is done you will have your vector store ready as you might know now the next step would be to create the bot okay so what we are doing is before creating the bot so let me show you here once the vector store function is called finally what it stores is sorry what it writes is vector store creation is completed and it returns true why this return true is given i'll say okay 
so that true is stored in flag sorry uh, um so here if you see we are asking a question once this vectorized pdf is completed we are asking a question and while flag while only true because what happens is if you don't have a vector store and if you are calling this medbot create create medbot function right you will face an error and to avoid that i have uh, created a while loop maybe yeah if you find a better approach than this while uh, flag kind of approach then yeah let me know in the comment section i'll adopt that for the next video okay so in this create medbot let's go now what happens is uh, we are having a custom prompt template uh, it is the same template which i have used previously but i have added an important information here stating that this is a medical domain so try to understand and provide only relevant answer because you need to be very cautious right when you are uh, generating some answers for medical domain so i'm just saying do provide only correct answers no wrong answers is allowed and based on that we are creating a prompt template with this and the variables are context and question as it is here and the transformer model which we are going to use here is the same model which we used previously which is uh, llama 27 b chat dot ggml v3 q4 one dot bin which is available in hugging face the block 7b chat ggml okay don't worry i'll provide the link of this model file in the description as well so you can directly download it okay so once that's done uh, this is a llama model so we are using llama here and then the max new tokens is i'm allowing 500 to 512 tokens to be generated and the temperature which is for uh, controlling the randomness we are giving it as 0 0.9 so that the randomness will be less okay so once that is done this is why we had a flag variable see here we are loading the uh, phase vector store from local and if you didn't have a vector store and if you started to execute this specific um, this specific function which is known as uh, create bit mod what happens is uh, it will raise an error because it won't have a vector store right so that is why we had a while loop there which will check the condition and it will allow this right so yeah next one uh, once that is done so here we if you see we have the vector store we have the prompt template we have the llms all are ready right uh, based on this we uh, will use retrieval qa where for llm we are using uh, llama 2 and for chain type we are using stuff because it is the simplest method it will just combine all the text and the uh, retriever is obviously our phase vector store and we are taking the top two results we, uh, that is why it is given k is equal to 2 and the uh, chain type quarks is i'm just saying that this prompt which you should use is this custom prompt template okay so i hope you'll understand that why it happens here and yeah finally once this is done we are having our retrieval qa chain which will act as our chatbot so yeah once this is done we'll have our medbot here print next stage uh this is just to debug guys i'm just removing it here it, it is not needed okay so what happens is next the medbot for bot is loaded here if you see the answer will be there once you click this if the button uh, answer button is uh, clicked the medbot will be called with the question provided by the user here and from there it will give the result okay from the, uh, from there uh, the result it is a dictionary obviously the output is a dictionary and we are taking the result key which will have the answer obviously and we are just printing it here so that we can have some logs but if you think okay i'm not gonna see log and all just remove this also that is fine so once it is done so we need all to be stored right like i said the session states to be should be maintained so that you can display all of those in your application so here what we are doing is in user we are appending the user question which is provided here by the user and in the assistant what we are doing is we are appending the answer which is generated by the bot obviously so once that is done if the session state is assistant and uh, what we will do is uh, we'll go on with display conversation with session state being passed as the argument okay so yeah here we have the history as you might know so what we are doing is we are going through all the session uh, like you know the values being stored in the session state and here we are calling the user template and we are replacing the message variable with the, rather the yeah message content here what happens is uh, in place of this message the user question will be replaced okay so similarly what happens is uh, similar thing will happen with bot 
and uh, in place of message the assistant message will be replaced so once that is done your model will display the output so yeah this is not that new obviously but what is new here is uh, the ui is slightly differ and uh, the another thing which differs here is uh, we are uploading the pdfs in real time that is also new but it works okay now i'll so show you what is about this ui and uh, how it works okay so here if you see we have a css bot template user template from this file called ui okay so in this if you see i'm having a div called chat message so here you can see right there is a class and usually when you call the class you should have dot okay so in that i'm just giving a padding i'm setting that the border radius should be 0.5 rem and then the margin bottom is 1 rem 1 rem usually is known as 16 pixels okay and display is flex these are all fine but what you might need to play with is your background color because uh, our channel is focusing on red black interface right we have uh, the logo is there, red black and all so i've uh, gone for some uh, reddish color for the chat and all so the background color you can just update it and this is for the avatar okay avatar is your logo so here you have the logo right let me open the logo here here, here you have this logo as well as the doctor logo for this we are having this avatar okay so the width is 20 percent and then uh, the avatar image will have a maximum width of 78 pixel and height also 78 pixel and the border radius is 50 percent object fit cover is fit is cover okay so basically basically what it will uh, do is it will create a circle that is what it happens okay it will create a circle inside uh, which will have 78 pixel um, 78 pixel as height and width obviously so here the diameter will be 156 yeah so yeah uh, that is the simple thing which is about the css yeah, you might not uh, need to do anything here if you want just change the color alone and yeah that should be enough for you all i guess but if you are uh, a good good in css yeah i'm more than happy that uh, you might play with the css and yeah you can create some beautiful interface but what differs here is this one is very important bot template and user template so the template is similar we are having different class names stating that chat message user and chat message bot in that we are creating a class called avatar so that a common thing can be used okay so if you see here uh, we are giving an image uh, this is an open source image so you can also use it don't worry about that and we are giving some parameters as well for the image okay so that is what is happening here next what we are doing is we are having a variable called message here and once you pass this user question from user template it will go to this variable and it will get displayed sorry here and if you go for answer from the bot it will display it here so that's what uh, that's all is about the html and css part it is not too complex and all uh, i would uh, rather suggest if you're not very experienced with html and css just use the same css which i have given but yeah if you're uh, good enough with html and css you can make better interfaces as well and yeah that's it about html and css and uh, even the bot uh, as you can see once you display the conversation it will display it here so that's it about the bot guys i hope you all love it so next video i am planning to make a bot which will be in law domain okay uh, that is a domain people have been asking uh, asking to me the two domains which people have asked me to build a bot were healthcare and legal so yeah i'll go for uh, legal or legal law that kind of domain in the next bot so yeah if you like this video i would uh, like to ask you all to like, uh, hit the like button so and share it with your friends and comment your opinions in the comment section so i'll see you all in the next video guys until then cheers